Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, channel. So in today's video, I had the opportunity to listen to the uh, first Watt F7. So this was sent to me for review. As long as I give my honest opinion about the whole listening experience. So the F7 was uh, designed by uh, Nelson Pass. It's a, a class A amplifier that puts uh, 20 watts into uh, 8 ohms and uh, 30 watts into uh, 4 ohms. With the design of the first watt F7, it definitely is a very simple design, both on the outside and inside, which definitely helps give the amplifier more of a open detailed sound because there's less components in the way. And it this amplifier has a damping fact, factor of about 100. The uh, speakers that I used for this F7 was the uh, Klipsch Heresy Mark I, which definitely paired nicely with the F7 because they're high, sens high sensitivity speakers and they don't need that much power, which works well with the uh, F7 because it only puts 20 watts into the speakers. The uh, preamplifier pre that I used for this review was the uh, Shit Audio Asgard 3, which definitely, it's definitely not the most expensive, but it definitely paired nicely with the F7. With the uh, albums that I listen to on vinyl, I listen to uh, this uh, forwards and backwards compilation album with uh, various artists from Canada. The uh, greatest hits of uh, James Taylor. The uh, JT, James Taylor album. The best of the Eagles. And uh, Skillet's Rise album. So all of these albums that I listen to are ones that I'm really familiar with. So I know what they sound like prior to hooking up the F7. With the F7 and these albums, I definitely heard a lot of little details that I've never heard before. Which definitely is something with going in a, a Class A amplifier especially one that's designed by Nelson Pass, as well as not only hearing little things, I definitely, I, it made everything more listenable and more detailed, refined, and clear, which definitely is part of the uh, MOSFET and uh, JFET push-pull design that's used in the uh, F7. So, this whole whole listening experience of the F7 definitely was a fun time. And I just, every time that I had the free time to listen to this, I, I would always listen to it. Which definitely is something that I've never really had happen before. So, to sum up the whole review... It's detailed, clear, engaging, warm, fun. And if that definitely is something that's up your alley, the S7 definitely would be a good option. And definitely if you have a high sensitivity speaker and a, a two preamplifier pre for the S7, let me know what you guys think of the F7 if you've had the chance to listen to it. See you guys in a, a future video. Bye.